Hi there. Okay. So in this video, we are going to walk through setting up your global presets. Uh, in this particular theme, we're using presets for the button modules and for the blurb modules. Uh, now this is not a deep dive into global presets overall, like how to create new ones or the functions available to you. So what I'd recommend to learn all that is to check out this blog post over on the elegant themes blog. Um, this is an excellent overview into pretty much everything you need to know about global presets. And I will include a link to this in the uh, tutorial on my website. But for now, we're going to head back over to WordPress and we're going to go into pages. And we're going to use the branding page. And you can just either click right into that or I like to right click and open it into a new tab. That way I keep my pages tab available if I want to toggle back and forth. So this branding page, if you haven't looked at it yet, um, just for a quick explanation, this is really just to give you an overview of all the various styles um, that are available to you um, in this particular theme. This page is not necessarily where you make changes to these styles. This is not where you change your color palettes. This is not where you change your fonts. But um, this just shows you everything all together. Um, for convenience and, and so you can see how everything looks um, uh, all in one place. So for the global presets, however, we're going to go down here to the button section. Um, we Technically, you can set up presets or edit presets really from anywhere within the site. Um, we're just doing it from here for convenience. So in this uh, section here labeled option one, uh, you're going to see that there is a button right there and it does not look like the button in our demo site. And just to take a quick look at that here, this is what our buttons should look like. So that style is technically already available to you. It's been loaded into the site. We just don't actually have it set up as our default style. So that's what we're going to do right now. If you hover over that module, click the gear icon to open it up. You're going to, we're going to be working in this purple area where it says preset. Um, there's a little arrow there, click on that and you'll get this menu that shows you all the presets that are currently available to you. So again, these were actually imported in an earlier step. Um, and this one right down here called button preset one imported, this is actually a dupli duplicate of, um, of this one right here. Um, I'm not going to get into why that happens, but I'm just going to say, let's go ahead and delete it to avoid confusion going forward. So you can just hover over that, click the little trash icon. It's going to say, are you sure? And yes, we're sure we want to get rid of that. But uh, we're going to click back into that now. And so right now you'll see this little green check mark. It disappears if I hover over it, but the green check mark there and the star icon, those are the two things we're going to pay attention to. The green check mark indicates the style that you currently have selected. That's the kind of style that is currently applied. And so in our in our case, it's the system default, um, referred to as, as just simply a button preset one. Um, and then the star icon indicates uh, which is your default style, meaning anytime you create a new button, that's the style that's going to be applied uh, initially. So what we want to do is, first of all, we want to change this to the black text style. And that is now going to match the buttons on our demo. And then what I also want to do is change this to be our default style so that anytime we create a new button on the site, it appears like this. All we have to do is just hover over that and look for the little star icon, click it. It's going to say, are you sure? Because it's going to make that change site wide. And we're going to click yes. And so now if I exit out of here and I go here to create a new button, you'll see it's going to look like that style. It's going to match that. So we're going to exit out, get rid of that. But that's just a little point of convenience for you. So now in this second option here, where we've got the dark background, you'll see that it doesn't look like there's anything there. There is. It's just we need to change it to the style called white text. Um, so we're going to click on the gear icon to open this up. Go back up to your preset area. And like I said, we're just now going to change the style to the button with white text. And there you go. Now, if you um, end up making lots of change. So this theme uses mostly light 
or white backgrounds. Um, so it makes sense to have this button with the with the dark text be the default option. If you change the site to have mostly dark backgrounds, then you can change your default option to be the button with white text. And again, all you do is you just hover over that and click the star icon, and that will change that to be your to, to be your default. So, but we're going to leave that as is. Save and exit out. And I'm just I'm just going to do a quick save to the page before we head on to the blurbs. So you're gonna see here that we've got two options set up for the blurbs and right now they look exactly the same. Um, one of them is labeled project blurb style and the other is called default style. So we're gonna start here by clicking into, um, actually, let me show you first the, to clarify this default style, this is the system default. Um, which is a an option that we are using throughout this site. So unlike with the buttons, um, we're gonna we're gonna keep this one selected as our default. And I'm gonna get into that in a second. The project blurb style that is the the uh, style that we're using on our homepage. I'm just gonna show you here in the demo site. You can see we've got the uh, image is centered and the text is centered. And this image is actually a little bit smaller than the default setting. That's one of the differences. So all we're going to do here is we're going to click into this and we're going to open that preset menu and sort of same situation that we had with the button. We've got this one here labeled blur preset one imported. That is that duplicate setting that we don't need. So we're going to start by just getting rid of that to avoid confusion. So we're going to hover over that trash can, click it. Are you sure you want to delete it? Yes. Now, if we go back into the menu, we've just got blurb preset one and project blurb. We're going to go ahead and change the style on this one to be the project style. And now you see that that image size, it changed, it shrunk just a little bit and we centered all the text. Go ahead and click save. And that's actually all we need to do right now. Um, we're I, I just mentioned this, but we are going to leave this um, default style as the default style uh, because it's used in more instances throughout the site than the project blurb is. Um, but both options are now available to you in the presets. So and I'm just going to show you quickly, like if we did this, add a new module, add a blurb, you're going to see it's this default style. But we're going to delete that. And um, I'm going to go ahead and click save on this page. And the one additional thing I want to do, we're going to go back to that pages tab. I'm actually just going to exit out of that branding page. We are going to go to the home page and apply that project style. Because if we, so this is a, this is a look at where we are so far. We've got our demo content, but you can see these are kind of, big images and we've got the text isn't centered. Whereas on the demo site, this is what it should look like. So this is just a matter of getting the um, that global style, that global preset applied. So we're going to go into enable visual builder here to open our Divi builder. And we are going to scroll down to the project section and on this first blurb here, we're going to go ahead and open that. And I'm going to enter to the preset menu and I'm going to choose project blurb and we're going to see how that changes. Now you could go ahead and click save and do that one at a time through all of these other um, projects, project blurbs, but I'm going to show you a shortcut. We're going to go to this little uh, three dot icon up here and we're going to click extend blurb styles. And that's just basically going to take the style that was on this particular module and it's going to extend it. And we are going to tell it to extend it throughout this section. And then we're going to go ahead and click extend. It's going to do this little update and look at that. Everything just changed. All of these changed all at once. Go ahead and click save and click save on the page and i'm going to exit out of the builder just to kind of do a refresh and make sure everything's looking good 
and look at that. It looks great. So that's all for this video. Um, again, go check out that blog post on the Elegant Themes website when you get time. Um, at this point in the flow of our tutorials, your site should be looking and functioning just like the uh, demo site. Going forward, we're going to get into how to edit colors or fonts and um, a few more things like that. So we'll see you in the next video.